Hello everyone, you are watching Scardi.com and I am Dr. Hamad Adar. Today our topic would be discussion on knee ligament injuries. As you know, the knee injuries are one of the very common injuries especially in the sports medicine. Especially a lot of sportsmen have uh, uh, contacted knee injuries during their career and unfortunately for some sportsmen that was a devastating injury of their career. At the very high point of their career they suffered an injury or even after they took a prolonged recovery and either their career ended prematurely or from then onwards they never really attained that kind of a physical agility and all that. Because that is why this important, the knee is such an important area of our body. It's because it has intracapsular ligaments, it has extracapsular ligaments. So in our motion, body mechanics, it has a very important role to play. Especially for sports uh, people, especially sportsmen or women even, they have a very large muscle mass, especially considering the quadriceps, the hamstrings and uh, the gastric solis complex is there it is very much hypertrophied and because they are very much athletic as a result when these injuries occur due to so much force and strain which is actually occurring on them is actually makes things worse this is not usually an isolated injury there is always a multi-ligamentous injury so when it's a multi-ligamentous injury it needs a lot of consideration especially in terms of rehab in terms of treatment in terms of management so that because there is a carrier is on stakes we can we need to be properly treating these injuries so that they can get back there and play the game they were playing at that level in this section we'll be going through mainly the knee ligaments first briefly their anatomy what are the different intracapsular ligaments, extracapsular ligaments, and what are the main important ones which is, uh, which needs to consideration, especially when they get injured. We'll be going through the ACL, the first of the most important and most commonly injured intracapsular ligament is the anterior crochet ligament or the ACL. Then comes the uh, PCL, although it is very less as compared to ACL, but it is also one of the very pertinent important components of intracapsular strains in the knee then we'll be going through the sometimes what happens is there is mid substance tear it's either acl or pcl or even both acl pcl may be injured but without any bony emulsions sometimes the injury may be severe enough or there may be trauma may be high enough that there could lead to bony emulsions of acl pcl where they are attached to the tibia they can get avulsed along with the bony piece so that has actually creates a problem because there's not isolated ACL PCL injury along with that this bony avulsion which means the ligament is not functioning as well as there's a bony fracture as well. So we have to be very uh, good with the treatment because if that bony fracture will remain inside the joint as these both are intracapsular ligaments this means not only there will be problem with the laxity of giving away feeling and patient may be having a problems of uh, rehabilitation there will be always arthritis as well so bony acl pcl means you have to deal with the bone as well as the acl pcl next would be the extra capsular the most commonly usually when this kind of injury happens it's not that this is the force is actually directed in one plane there is no such thing such as only the anterior or posterior force usually there is always a rotatory element is there and with various valgus stress is always there on the knee so sometimes there is always either medial collateral ligament which can get torn with the valgus stress or lateral collateral ligament which can get torn with the varus stress so there is always uh, there could be even isolated mcl lcl injury as well when injury is not severe enough and there is only varus or valgus stress but usually there is always multi-ligamentous injury there is always mcl with acl or there is a bony avulsion or there is some meniscus injury along with that as well for example with acl there is high chances of having a lateral meniscus injury as well then we will be coming to the knee dislocation and multi-ligamentous injuries. Now knee dislocation is usually not a sports injury but patient can have a motor vehicle accident or high energy trauma which can lead to uh, knee dislocation uh, with tearing of multiple ligaments. There may be ACL with medial collateral ligament as well as lateral meniscus or uh, there could be lateral medial collateral ligaments along with ACL and PCL. So there may be multiple ligaments may be involved. And despite the uh, dislocation is reduced, the knee may be grossly unstable later on. If you want to view it the whole way, 
keep watching and keep subscribing study.com